Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Building Models. Today we are going to build this 1963 Chevy 2 Nova Station Wagon. Not many parts in this kit, so this shouldn't be too long of a video. The Nova body. Then we got the frame. That's on the same tree with a half motor, I guess is what you can call it. Strange. So basically, if you open up the, the motor or the hood, which is right here with dash, seat, steering wheel, pieces of, for like the front wheels, wheel pieces, and even a squirrel, a screwy squirrel in this kit. But anyways, with the hood, if you open up the hood, where's the motor? So it's almost, I guess you could say, like it's being worked on, you could say. Put that to the side. Got the small chrome tree with rims, grill bumper, ears, and um, some tail stuff light stuff and we got two-piece windshield with a telephone yes a telephone and rear view light scan one out with four tires white wall tires and we got some nice decals make this Victor's vacuum service all brands since 1958 uh, we makes this official UFO search vehicle or we make a public utilities commission or a ruthless grocery service or a telephone repair and we got that stuff and all that so Probably one also has a New Mexico license, so probably when we come back, I'll show you all what I got to paint, what I need to paint with, and all that. And one more thing that I almost forgot the directions. It's only this big, and it's back, so that's really it. What to do? Shouldn't need these because we don't care about them. But if I have to, I may go back and forth. So, there may be like two build updates, really. So, see you when we come back. Okay, here's all the paint stuff I'll be using. I'll be using a matte black for the frame. That'll probably be about it. And that motor, half motor. And a 50s Aqua, never been sprayed before, brand new can, which it's kind of old, so I'm, I, don't know, I don't know how old, but it's been, I got this when I got a, that Nomad, it was in the box, and then the classic white, this is what I used to paint that 50, uh, 50 one of my 55 uh, Chevrolet Coca-Cola trucks, this is the glue we'll be using, and then this is for the windshields and the back glass. Got a razor blade knife for anything, my trusty pliers, hobby knife, and a chrome sharpie. A trip. And if this does not work out right, I'll let you know what color we're going to use. Also, a orange for the nut bottom of the motor, and a flat black for the inside, and up underneath. So when we come back, we'll probably have a we'll have a painted body and things painted. Okay, so we decided to go with this color because this color we tried to spray paint it and it was junk. So the hood right now is drying and waiting. So we decided to go with this gloss baby blue, basically like a almost like a cyan color. And then to the interior, we just took a matte to clear because it was white because the white was junk too so when we come back we'll start building so enjoy 
Here's what happened to the Nova Hood. It was the first thing we painted in the house. Yeah, this is unpleasant, so I can strip it and paint it with this gloss baby blue. It's just wasn't in a bad looking car, but that's just how it is. Stay tuned. Okay, here's the first build update. This is what body we spray painted one more time. So it's done. Now I have to go back up and we're going to paint this all white because of the white interior. And then, then go back and paint this flat black. You know, same thing with this. Got the wheels together and they were kind of hard to get in because they were like tight fit. So they're like snapped and that's what we needed. Grow black wash along with the lights. Get the steering wheel done. Get the dash and put a decal on. And then get the other seat in. And for the frame, I'm gonna have to kind of appropriate all this and painted that. And got the front. Places on ready for the wheels. So probably when we come back, we'll be like everything ready to be put on to the body. Once I get the body done. So also we got a black squirrel, but probably sometime I'll go back and paint it like gray. Because where I'm at, we have gray squirrels. So when we come back, we'll have probably the final build of it. Okay. Here's probably the last build of date for the complete. Cause it's really put this together, put that together, and boom, done. So, got the telephone. And with the steering wheel dash and the seat. And I'm going to put the squirrel. I'm going to leave the squirrel black because it could be black squirrel. Because there's a thing called, uh, th there's a species of squirrel named black squirrels. So, he said you're next to the phone while I build the other one. This one, this Nova is going to have a little bubble. Same thing with that blue Chevelle. Well, uh, with the uh, with the other Nova, it would probably be a gray squirrel, and these two squirrels can talk to each other on the phone if they wanted to. Ha ha ha! So, yeah, I know it's not this Ford Fairlane motor here because I was going to use this, but then after testing and fitting them before we started, well, that didn't work out. So anyways, got the wheels on, got the windshield, and got the hood repainted. Should have been painted up underneath and all that. It may not look all that great, but it'll probably look better once the interiors and even did this because of the, the fender. And then got the uh, grill block wash, headlights in, and painted. So when we come back, we'll probably have a completed car. So stay tuned. Okay, here's the car. What it looks like. Got some new Mexico license. There's the front. It says 1963 on the front. And when you open up the hood. What do you know? There's no motor, so this car can't run. So, uh, and then if you look very carefully, you can see a telephone and the squirrel. The squirrel's gonna call up all his buddies and we're gonna have a party and then the Nova. We got the mirror on. And here's up underneath the car. Uh, please uh, comment down below which uh, one, which truck and car I should do next, and we shall see you in the next build.